Have the bosses of Meghan Markle's new comeback. Have you already made, dare I say, well, yes, dare I say, an absolute huge blunder. As ever, let me explain. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you today. And thank you, by the way, for your lovely comments about the recent video we did regarding how to make millions without really trying. You know, it does fascinate me. And I wanted to share that story with you because it is important, particularly when people are losing their jobs, to think, well, who's to blame for all of this? And as I've often said, you know, some of the managers that go around, they never get the blame. They suddenly get on a board of something else and you're left struggling. So thank you. Thank you for enjoying that video. If you haven't seen it, do check it out. It is a revelation as to how big companies work. And if you didn't know how they worked in this 21st century world, it really is something of an eye opener. You can just see that everybody's cap in hand to everybody else. Oh, we haven't had a wave, have we? How are you? Yes, I know I'm slacking. You can tell, I can hear, you can tell me off, you know. I know, I get distracted, you know what it's like. A bit windy out here as well. Back as ever though to your breaking world story of the day. Now this story really could be seen as well, a million dollar blunder. Because what's fascinating I find about this is, you know that these people who tell you, particularly agents, and for anybody who's worked in the world of show business as I have, uh, you know, agents tell you what you want to hear. Now I'm an author and as many people know, from Yorkshire, we don't take any, shall we say, nonsense, you know. I never bought into what agents told me because the bottom line is they're mainly failed actors or failed performers themselves, should I say, and so they become an agent because they're talentless and they're riding on the back of you. If you're any good, you can push through yourself and quite literally find your own work. But, of course, if you're Meghan Markle, having an esteemed agency with so much experience really does cut some cachet, or indeed does it. You see, these headlines, right, yes, these here, are creating something of a problem for Meghan Markle, and it's not something that she can wriggle out of quite easy. As we know, Meghan's allegedly returning, bated breath, back to social media. Don't know how that's going to cut it with Prince Harry, do you? He claimed it was toxic, didn't want anything to do with it. Meghan's obviously decided which is the less toxic, making money or indeed Prince Harry. Work that one out, clearly. Nobody's thought of that yet. But yes, Meghan could be returning now to the world of social media. Not the Duchess of Sussex, not at Duchess, but at Meghan. She is a one-girl brand, as they like to say. Now, you see, the bigger problem is seemingly this. As she's decided to return, the agency, the people around her, PR spin, whatever you want to call it, are now claiming she could be making up to £800,000 per post. A little stretchy, I think, if you... <laughs> you know, were to be brutally honest. But this, I've been told by a very well-placed source, and as ever allegedly, is actually putting people off. You see, if you are the person that you're going to work with, perhaps, you know, I don't know, a major retail brand like a shampoo or a cooking sauce or whatever, you know, perhaps something like stress patches, who knows? Well, really, do you want to be associated by saying, we paid a former actress who was in the royal family for 10 minutes X amount of thousands of pounds. Oh, and by the way, we'll have to put the price of our product up now just to cover that. That happened to Spotify. Now, somebody's woken up around Megan and thought, this doesn't bode well. But now, as they often say, the cat is out the bag. And now, what do you do? How do you rein it back in? You see, for some brands who possibly only give a fraction of that money, they may be glad to think that they're so wealthy to think that they can toss out such money to the former actress. But either way, Megan, by her own device or default or demands, has created yet another fine mess. It's going to be fascinating to see how they get out of this one. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.